Well, hey guys, what's going on? It's Samantha from Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. We have a beautiful dusting of snow, and I thought, what a perfect time to explain to you why I love hot tent camping and why you should get into it. It wouldn't be a hot tent trip if you didn't have a little bit of snow. In fact, braving the snow and braving the ice is one of my favorite parts about hot tent camping. There's just something about it that's so raw and it just connects you with nature and it allows you to experience the outdoors in the year round in its entirety. It's so awesome. I love when we have snow just like this when we're camping. So one of the questions I actually get asked a lot is, Samantha, how did you get into hot tent camping and why do you love it so much? Well, the answer for that is really easy. I don't like being cold. I love camping. I mean, if I could just live outside and play outside for a living, I definitely would because this is my zen, this right here. And I love the winter. I love going for wintertime walks. I love wintertime activities but I don't like being cold. So we started doing some winter camping and we call it cold camping now because now we have the hot tent. Um, but we had, you know, just kind of a regular tent. We bought some really hefty sleeping bags and we would sit around our fire and I would find by like seven o'clock, you know, I was ready for bed. Like I was freezing cold. My toes and my boots were cold and you know, I just wanted to get inside my sleeping bag and sleep. And in the winter, the dark is so, so long because of course, you know, in December, it can be completely pitched back by five o'clock and it's not, the sun's not even gonna rise until like seven or 7.30. So there's a ton of time to spend inside of your sleeping bag waiting for it to get warm again. And I thought there's gotta be a better solution to this. So Sarah was actually the one who started watching different YouTube videos and kind of finding out about this hot tenting business. And I thought, oh, seems kind of expensive. And so, you know, initially I was against it for a long time because, you know, it's a lot of money up front to buy a hot tent, to buy a hot tent stove, and to get all the gear that you're gonna need to start hot tenting. And I was thinking, I don't know if this is for me. Like how much of a difference is this stove actually gonna make in my life? Let me tell you, the difference is humongous. I do not cold camp in the winter anymore unless I'm doing a backpacking trip. That is the only circumstance under which I will continue to cold camp. But it's made such a big difference. So I got into hot tenting because of my wife and her having interest in it and watching different videos. And then all I had to do was try it one time. One time was all it took for me to realize I was addicted to it. Now, another reason to get into hot tenting, if you haven't, and you think, oh, you know, that sounds too extreme, or, whoa, did you see that? Whoa, there's limbs coming down everywhere. This ice storm has just been nuts. Boy, ooh, hope I don't get taken out by one. <laughs> oh, but anyway, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, why I love hot tent camping. Um, if, if you haven't gotten into it and you think, oh, I don't really like winter camping or I don't like the cold, you know, you don't really have to deal with the cold when you're hot tent camping because you've got that stove to keep you warm and to make lots of nice warm food. Now, of course, when the stove goes out in the middle of the night, it can get a little chilly. So you want to have some warm uh, winter gear, nice, big, cozy sleeping bag. But it's definitely just a totally different experience. It is so different from regular car camping or even from you know obviously different from backpacking um but it's even different from even just dispersed camping that you might do in the more temperate conditions it, it, it's such a different kind of camping i really encourage everybody to get into it and try it out because it's so much fun i guarantee you're going to be hooked one of the other really nice things about hot tent camping that i really really enjoy i mean outside of the winter context i mean i love the snow i love the ice but it's that shoulder season that is freezing cold. So you know those temperatures when it's like 38 degrees, or 45 degrees, but it's raining. 
ugh, you know, that actually can seem colder than when it's a few degrees below zero and it's snowing. Like the rain in some of those November temperatures or even out into March in certain parts of the country can just be awful. So it's really nice to know that you've got the hot tent and a hot tent stove to keep you warm in the shoulder season. Even if you're not using it in, you know, the heavy winter season, you can use it on the shoulder season and it's really nice. Like I will hot tent anywhere from about, I would say maybe 50 degrees, uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit and below. I have tried bringing out my hot tent one time when it was warmer and it was kind of a disaster because in our hot tent our floor is a clip-in floor and I find when the temperatures are above 50 degrees especially in the shoulder season all of a sudden the bugs that you didn't think were there because you thought they hibernated they start to come out now you don't get flies or mosquitoes or any other uh, you know biting insects but you tend to get a lot of ants and more kind of like the crawly type of bugs and that's fine, bugs don't creep me out. But Sarah was having a fit because these big carpenter ants kept coming in to the tent and then they would get inside her sleeping bag and then she was trying to sleep and then she would have to, you know, wake up and she'd have to brush, you know, this ant off of her and it kept waking her up all the time. Like, you know, I mean, it was like two ants, but um, there was actually quite a few bugs. There was a couple bees and just some random things. And because the hot tent is, the hottest place in the forest at that time all these poor creatures who are just you know trying to find heat to save their poor little lives because the winter's coming and they know it they all find a way into your tent so i don't like the hot tent when it's above 50 degrees because i tried it and i think it was like maybe 60 degrees um and it also gets way too hot you have to leave the the doors open and you just die so i i really don't recommend doing it above that temperature from personal experience but i mean you can you can use that stove all year round if you want to but you're going to get cooked out of that tent if the temperatures are too warm and the creepy crawlies will come for you one of my favorite parts about hot tent camping is the cooking and man we have made some delicious dishes Let's get back to the cooking for a minute because that's like I said is my very favorite part now I don't know about you guys But I just like cooking outside generally whether it's over a campfire or if it's uh, On the hot tent stove or even if it's just roasting a hot dog even even anything simple like that I just love making food in the outdoors and I find with my hot tent stove, especially, especially since I got my pipe oven, that I am super motivated to try to make all of these different dishes. So I will look up recipes of different things to try. And these are things that I would never make at home, you know, because, you know, cooking at home is easy. You know, it's more of a chore, you know, it's just like, oh, what are we having for dinner tonight? I don't know. But when you're hot tenting, you know, it's just like this whole other world and this whole other experience. And I just find it really helps me tap into my creative element. So I start making all these really wild and crazy things that I wouldn't make at home. Like cornbread, for instance. I had never made cornbread in my life, you know. Um, well, I decided I was gonna make some in my pipe oven and it turned out it was delicious. I made uh, like open face pizza burgers. Um, I made some edamame pasta, which is something I would never ever make at home. And I'm always just looking for new things to try. And it's almost like, I wonder if I can make this work. And it turns into more of like a form of entertainment for myself with the cooking. So that's another really fun reason to get into hot tent camping is just it allows you to just kind of expand your horizons and try new things. One of the other really cool things about hot tent camping is when you get your thermometer out and you realize the extreme conditions that you're actually subjecting yourself to. So we have a digital thermometer and it's a two piece unit. So we have an internal unit that sits on the inside of our hot tent and it measures how hot we're able to get our hot tent. And then we have another unit it's connected to 
outside we usually hang that in a tree and that way we can know how cold it is outside so it's kind of fun when you're in the winter and you're thinking oh my goodness i'm warm and toasty the fire is blazing inside the wood stove you know it's 85 degrees inside the tent and it is zero degrees outside that that's just super super fun one of the other things that i really enjoy about hot tent camping is being on location and base camping while you do all these awesome winter hikes and we have just gotten into winter hiking within the last couple years and we have done some pretty awesome trips i think one of the best parts about hot tent winter camping is just the seclusion and the lack of people you can be almost guaranteed to be the only one out there i mean at least in central illinois where we live there is nobody out hot tenting in fact i have never even seen another hot tent other than ours uh, on any campsite in illinois now if you're in michigan or if you're in wisconsin or minnesota it's probably a very different situation but where i'm from you can be guaranteed to have the run of the entire park aside from maybe a few hunters and a few day hikers completely to yourself which is awesome now one of the other things that i really love about hot tech camping ah oh my gosh look at that oh i just got snagged by that tree look at that there's ice all over it. Oh. Anyway, as I was saying, one of my other favorite things about hot tent camping is actually spending time inside the hot tent. And it's awesome when it's blowing and it's freezing and it's cold outside. It's really awesome to know that you have that hot tent. You can fire on that stove, stoke it up nice and hot, and you can throw something delicious in the oven or on the stove top and even make a cup of hot cocoa. Now, one of the things that initially kind of got me hooked on hot tent camping, because I mean, I, uh, I live in central Illinois right now and we don't get a ton of snow per se. You know, this, this is a great, amazing snowfall for central illinois but one of the things that kind of got me hooked onto it was the looks that people give me when i tell them i'm going camping so there's an ice storm coming there's a snow blizzard and i cannot wait to get off work early on a friday just to get out in the thick of it and the looks that people give you and the reactions that they, they give you, I mean, I, I think it's kind of funny, you know, that people think I'm, you know, so extreme and I do all this wild stuff, you know? <laughs> I don't really think it's really all that extreme at all. When I first started doing it, I thought, wow, this is a little crazy, but it, it's just funny how something that seems so normal and so natural to me seems so exotic and bizarre to other people. So that's one of the one of the things I enjoy about hot tent camping is going out for the weekend and making some good food and plastering those pictures all over Facebook and just watching my friends and family be like, wow, you're nuts. You know, I, I kind of get a kick out of that. The best part about hot tent camping is that you're less dependent on having optimal weather conditions to go camping and you can use your hot tent and go camping year round. That for me, that is, you know, aside from the cooking, cooking's number one, but actually being able to camp and camp comfortably year round is number two. And uh, that's another really good reason to get into it and to try it out is because it's going to allow you to expand your camping season throughout the entire year plus you get to see scenery like this now i know that hot tent camping can be pretty overwhelming if you're just starting to get into it or you're just maybe stumbling across this video for the first time it could be really overwhelming because it is so different from regular camping so what I'm going to try to do for you guys, I am going to try to get like a beginner's guide to hot tenting uh, put up, hopefully within the next few weeks. And this way you can kind of get an idea about, you know, where to start to look in terms of, you know, what kind of tent do you need? What kind of stove do you need? What other kind of gear do you need to be successful 
and to have a good time um, because it is an investment. It's, it's, it's fairly expensive. You know, there are some budget options out there, but you know, one thing that you want to keep in mind with hot tank camping is that you get what you pay for. And especially when it comes to your stove, you know, if there's, if there's one piece of gear that you're not going to kind of budget for, um, and you're going to go all out on, definitely get yourself a good stove because it will pay for itself tenfold and it's going to last a lifetime if, if you put the money in it up front. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for coming along on this wonderful winter walk. Hopefully you guys are going to get inspired and go try hot tenting. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead, hit that button now. We'll see you guys on the next one.